So the reason why I was afflicted is because I went astray. But now the psalmist David says, but now, Lord, I do what? I keep your word. I'm doing what your word tells me to do. I am no longer. I, now I know so much that I cannot violate your word in that area. If it is tithing, I know enough. I cannot touch anything that belongs to you. I will now give. I will now give tithe. I'll give an offering. And I'll give more than anything else. And let me tell you, friend. If you do that, if you do like that, God is going to do great things in your life. There are people who are suffering in marriage just because they, they did not listen. They went astray. You just got married to someone that you never even knew. Someone chooses someone that they never even knew. And then they get married. There are most of the marital problems that we have today these hackings and killings in marriages that you hear, the, the, the thing, the, the accumulation of, the, of that anchor and everything, it is all because people did not do what the word of God says. For example, one simple thing. The Bible says if someone has wronged you, do what? What are you supposed to do? Forgive them. And the Bible says don't let the sun go down on your heart anger but if you go astray from that word and you keep that anger and it piles up what happens finally the root of bitterness springs up and when the root of bitterness springs up you you the way you are seated here like this can kill with the anger piled up in you you can kill any one of you is a potential murderer <laughs> and i'm not cursing you i'm just saying that for as long as you violate the word of God, you go astray to the word of God. The word of God tells you forgive. You don't forgive. The word of God says um, don't have a grudge. The word of God tells you vigilance belongs to, to God. But you are piling that anger. You are piling that anger. One of my brothers told me something. He's, he's known to be a very good guy in our family. He's, people normally call, call him like a priest. He behaves like a priest. But one day he was telling me a story. He said, there is someone who, who wronged us as a family. And he said, when he, anytime he thought about that man, the only thing he thought about is how he can kill him. And he says that after thinking so much on how he could kill this man, that is when he says, I, I remembered that I am just a potential murderer like any other person. If Indeed, I allow the devil to sit in my heart. Any one of you can curse your parents. Any one of you can curse your, your children. For as long as you keep anger in your heart. Any married man can, or woman can, can break their marriage. For as long as we don't forgive. For as long as we, we, we go astray from the word of God. Let's just, let us be honest. If all of us who are married, if there is something in marriage and we were ample enough to ask forgiveness, if we were ample enough to repent, if we were ample enough to seek on how to build our marriages, are we going to have any divorce? No. The thing is that we go astray, and that's what Jesus said. They say that divorce was not permitted. God never wanted divorce to be there, but he says because of the hardness of the hearts, meaning going astray. God, you know, David says, create in me a new what? A new spirit. And he says, a broken and a contrite spirit, oh God, thou shalt not despise. Now, there are people who have done more grievous sins, but they have repented because they have a broken what? Heart. And God has forgiven them. But because we don't have broken hearts, because we are we we are, we are not we, we don't we, sh we don't show any brokenness when we do something that is wrong, we want to put on a tough face. We want to argue until we win an argument. This is something that we are supposed to be very careful about. Let's read verse sixty-eight, Psalm one hundred and nineteen. For those of you who have just come in. Psalm 119, and we go to verse 68. 
You are good and do good. Teach me your statutes. You see, that, you know, the psalmist has just said, Oh God, before I was afflicted, before I suffered, I went astray. But now I have returned to your word. Oh God, you are good. Oh God, you are good. Do me good. Teach me your statutes. Now I told you a statute is an is unquestionable directive of the word of God. It is unquestionable. It doesn't require debate. God tells you to forgive those who wrong you. It does not require any debate. If someone has wronged you, it doesn't matter how painful and how grievous the evil was. What, is, what are you supposed to do? Forgive them. So he says, Lord, teach me your statutes. Verse 69. Let's go together. The proud, I did not hear you read. The proud have forged a lie against me. But I will keep your precepts with my whole heart. How many times have you suffered from the lies of people? They, when when peop, wrong people gather together because they are envious of your progress, they are envious of what you are doing and how you are doing it, and then they come up with their proud, there are people who, who who fear someone to out, you know, they don't want, you know, to them, if there is a promotion in your life, it means you are outshining them. So they will use every opportunity and any opportunity to fight you. But the psalmist David says, Lord, verse 69, the proud have forged a lie against me, but I will keep your what? Precepts with my whole heart. It doesn't matter what they say. It doesn't matter what schemes they come up with. I am not going to be, like for example, I have, I've shared with you guys. When we came to this place and established the ministry, one of the things was people began to say that we are devil worshippers. They were saying, how can a church just be built and it has no members? Look at what they are doing. Look, they, have, they are driving. Look at this kind of, you know, all those kinds of things. People said all manner of things. And you know what we do? I will not and I will never spend one of my seconds of life to think about what they are saying. Mine is to do what God has called me to do. And some of you, you get so easily distracted. When people say something bad against you, quickly you change your way. You, you, you become stressed. Yeah, they said this. They said this. And you become stressed. And you say, I'm very stressed. I don't know what to do. You don't know what to do. The psalmist David says, the wicked, the proud, have forged a lie against me. But I will keep your what? Precepts. Click on subscribe button below. Click on the notification bell to become the first to know when we upload another